Did you know that the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the mighty king of the tyrant lizards, had teeth the size of bananas? Quite a fun fact to start our journey into the fascinating world of this prehistoric giant, isn't it? Imagine this, it's about 68 million years ago in what we now know as North America. Among lush green vegetation and thundering waterfalls, there roams a creature so immense and powerful, it's hard to believe it existed. This creature, my friends, is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, fondly known as the T-Rex. Standing at a staggering 20 feet tall, the T-Rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. It had a massive skull balanced by a long heavy tail. And those teeth? They weren't just banana-sized, they were also strong and sharp, perfect for crunching through bone. But don't be too alarmed. Despite its fearsome reputation, the T-Rex couldn't run fast, thanks to its short, stubby legs. Some scientists believe it could only walk at a pace of about 3 miles per hour. That's slower than the average human's jogging speed. And here's another surprising fact. The T-Rex had tiny arms. Yes, that's right. The king of the tyrant lizards had arms so small, they couldn't even reach its mouth. But what they lacked in size, they made up for in strength. It's believed that these arms could lift a whopping 430 pounds each. Now you might be wondering, how do we know all this about a creature that lived so long ago? Well, we have fossils to thank for that. Fossils are like nature's time capsules, preserving the past and allowing us to unravel the mysteries of these incredible creatures. To wrap up, let's revisit some key facts about our friend the T-Rex. This mighty beast stood at 20 feet tall, had banana-sized teeth, and tiny but strong arms. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs, but it wasn't a fast runner. And all this fascinating information we owe it to the power of fossils. So the next time you come across a banana, remember the mighty T-Rex and its incredible teeth. It's quite a toothy tail, isn't it?